Welcome to the University of Lethbridge Destination Project Construction Site. I'm Gene Lublinkoff and I'm Project Manager. I'm here with Daryl Campbell who is Senior Site Superintendent for PCL Construction. We are approximately at 50% construction and uh, Daryl, what does that look like? So right now on site we are very close to completing the overall concrete structure on the building. Uh, we are looking at about the middle of November to complete the last of our concrete pours. That will be quite the party that day, I'm quite sure. Uh, we're currently looking at about 350 people on site on any given day with, uh, with a multitude of different uh, aspects going on right now. We've got a lot of the finishes going on inside the building. In the background here you can see the, the double walled uh, facade for the curtain wall is going in place. Uh, desperately trying right now with the, uh, with the weather changing to try to get as much of the envelope complete as possible so we can heat the inside of the building and continue along with a lot of the finishes that are going on. So we are here on the newly poured level 10 part of our building which is our mechanical penthouse. Uh, this area houses um, eight air handling units, boilers, chillers, most of the major mechanical systems for the building. Um, in the background here is our first air handling unit that was placed last week. Uh, now that it's in place, it allows a lot of uh, work to go forward uh, in the next year. What does that look like, Daryl? Like, what, what happens after this? So part of this, um, part of the planning that's going into this right now is trying to get the majority of these larger mechanical units up onto the roof here. Um, in preparation for the structural steel that's actually going to start approximately two weeks from now. Um, the idea is, is getting these large units in with our tower cranes while we've still, well, we've still got some access to them. Um, and then uh, the structural steel that will basically house these, this, uh, all this mechanical equipment up on the roof will then be installed around it. Um, it will be followed then very quickly after that with some decking and roofing and trying to get the building again watertight on the top side. So Daryl, the last time we, we stood here, uh, the structure was up, um, but the interior was virtually bare. Uh, we hadn't tied into University Hall yet. Um, since then there's been considerable progress. You can see the, uh, the curtain wall and, and a lot of the glazing is complete, um, ongoing. Uh, the interior concrete floors, and the uh, tiered uh, lecture halls are progressing. You can see in the background there's a, a lot of uh, electricians at work, uh, HVAC technicians at work. Um, so I suspect over the winter here, when the glazing is complete, this space will accelerate considerably. Absolutely. So at this point, uh, as you can see in the background with all of the infrastructure for the tiered classrooms going into place, uh, we're just preparing, and I believe we're going to actually start today, putting in the queue decking which will create the, the, the formwork for the concrete floors that are being poured in here. Um, as soon as that is complete, uh, a lot of our finishes within the space will start. We'll start working on some of the interior walls um, and all of the other finishes that go along with that electrical and mechanical rough-ins as well will continue. Um, and as we, as we progress, we've, we've completed the structural steel now for the, for the link bridge in the background here and we'll be looking at tying in the curtain wall and eventually working on the north face of the existing University Hall to tie all of those finishes in from the existing U-Hall into the new link. We're standing here in the main atrium of the Science and Academic Building and in the background you can see the major staircases are starting to take form and um, the main elevator shaft uh, architectural finishes are are starting to take form as well. Um, as you look around in this atrium, you can start to get a sense for how large the space is, uh, how much light penetration into the building, and um, just how grand of a public space it's going to be. 